Hello there and welcome back. I'm Cynic Placebo and this is my holiday special where I'm doing a marathon of holiday games and this is South Pole Santa. Let's dive in. It said it was an adventure game so I'm curious to see what sort of adventure game it is. Oh, baby's gone. Fire truck is gone. Poor little Timmy. Mop bucket it's spilled. Debbie! I'm sorry, Hell Elf Daniel. Get this mess cleaned up even if it means working late tonight. Yes, sir. Oh, figgy pudding. Being a low-level elf is a tough gig, even if I am working at the North Pole. Alright. So it's just a point and click, it looks like. Ooh, I've got a bucket and a mop. Alright. Do I need... How do I open up my inventory? Oh, I, probably. Can I mop things? Can I combine them up in the buck? Nope. Alright, well it looks like I mopped up the floor, so that's something. To Santa at North Pole from Suzy123 at AOL <laughs> America Online, okay. Dear Santa, someone stole my Christmas doll. All they left behind was a penguin feather. Please help me. By the way, next Christmas I'd like a new brother. Thanks, kisses Suzy. That didn't look like a penguin feather to me, but you know, what do I know? This email says someone is stealing toys. The only thing they left behind is a penguin feather. Holy holly, I need to tell Santa about this. Whoa, Jiminy Christmas, presents are being stolen all over the world. Okay. Uh, why is no one manning this booth? That's the question. So I don't think I can walk up that way. Let's see if we can open the door. Nice. I mean, it, this is the great thing about vector graphics, is that this scales beautifully to a modern resolution because it just can. It's all vector-based. Oh, stocking coal is too high. If only I had something to stand on. Okay, so I'm going to get something to stand on. Let's go... Well, let's check the front door first, huh? Ooh, the North Pole is beautiful. There's even a door in the North Pole. Awesome. Well, let's check out the sleigh. That's Santa's sleigh. It's being repaired. Why is his sleigh always being repaired in these games, huh? He must ride it hard and rough. The North Pole has an elevator. Well, come over here. Walk to the front of it. There we go. There's a small keyhole next to the elevator. Okay. So we know where the key is, but how are we going to get it is the question. Can I go into one of these houses? Is this like the workshop? It doesn't look like I can click on it. Uh, there was something I could click on here, but maybe it was just the leftover of the dialog box, huh? Alright, doesn't look like there's much in the courtyard of the North Pole. Here, come down here. She doesn't like to pathfind very well. You kind of gotta guide her slowly. I can't walk around with cursor keys, can I? Or Wasad? Nope. Just point and click. Alright, into the next room we go. If she'll walk there. Mr. Hook, Mr. Spike, I need to talk to Santa. I'm sorry, Debbie, that's simply ridiculous. Utterly impossible. Oh, let's see, why can't I see Santa? I've got a big problem. Who does your hair? <laughs> Do you always finish each other's sentences? <laughs> what are you talking about? Doing after work? <laughs> nice, what are you doing after work? Oh, that's funny. Who does your hair? Our hairstyles are the only way people can tell us apart. <laughs> we can we can get dates. Okay. Uh, okay, we got a big problem. Toys are being stolen from children all over the world. And why is that our problem? Of concern to us. <laughs> I like I like the finishing each other's sentences, but then this guy is like, no, that wasn't the sentence I was saying. Because Santa gave those toys to the children. We're only responsible for delivery, and problems after that are out of our control. Oh, out of hands. Control. <laughs> I, I finished his sentence. I'm a better brother than this guy is. Now please leave and let Santa slumber. Snooze. Okay, because he's unavailable sleeping. He's been working all winter and now he's chilling. Having some me time. Okay. I really need to talk to Santa. As we said, Santa really needs his rest. A break from elves. <laughs> okay. This is hopeless. Goodbye, Mr. Hook and Mr. Spike. So I'm assuming this is Hook and this is Spike. All right. Uh, what if I hit him with a mop right in the face? Put a bucket on their head. Nope. Okay, do not disturb. Goodness gracious. Twisted Tinsel, I'm going to have to solve this myself. There were penguin feathers at the scene of every robbery. Maybe I should go to the South Pole and check it out. How are you going to get to the South Pole? That's like an entire 180 degrees around the globe away. There wasn't another room in here, was there? I can't go down this way. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm so silly. Okay. Uh, inventory. Bucket. I can stand on a bucket. Of course I can. Now we get the key. 
question is, does the elevator connect directly to the South Pole? <laughs> I mean, it might. Who knew the North Pole was actually an interplanetary core elevator? <laughs> okay. Hey, come on. Come walk down here. There we go. And now let's use the key. Excellent. I forgot her name. Was it Devi? I think it was Devi. Well, let's go down. I don't know what up would have done. I probably should have hit up just to see what it would do. Through the planet core. The planet core. Lisa gonna give you a bong. Oh, jingle balls. The elevator stopped. Alright. Something's wrong with the elevator. I'm stuck in the center of the earth. Yeah, you are. Don't worry. There's always a bigger fish. Looks like this will... <laughs> this panel will open. Someone mixed up all the wires. Uh, okay. So I've got to, like, reconnect stuff. Let's see. Yellow. We've got yellow. We've got green. Uh... What on earth? I cannot... Uh, what is this trying to do, even? Yellow, green, and one red in the middle, huh? Mm. Okay, well, these ones can't change. But this one can change. So only these... Only these hooks can change. Oh, did I do it? Oh, <laughs> alright, well... I don't know how I did it, but I accidentally solved that puzzle. I mean, I brilliantly intuited the answer, clearly. Okay. I feel kind of topsy-turvy. Are they really going to make us be upside down? <laughs> okay. Whoa. We got some penguins. Okay. What about over here? Well, let's talk to the penguins first. <laughs> okay. Oh, that could be irritating. Alright, 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 I get it. You're all gonna make a big racket. Yeah, okay, you're getting turned down. Alright. I left it on loud for a while, but the <laughs> you're getting turned down now. Because that's way too irritating. I mean, am I supposed to really navigate this thing without irritating a single penguin? Is that the, the plan? Seems like a tall order for a short elf. What what dad pun? Christmas dad pun. All right, we're getting there. It's just taking us a while. I mean, the interface is nice. It seems like it's got some decent puzzles in it. I always like a decent point adventure, and as long as it's charming, this one seems to be oozing with some charm. Some of the dialogue's fun. The characters are fun. The settings are fun, and it's Christmassy, which is always nice. I even like the gradient of the ice from the white to the darker blue. It's a fun touch they added. Okay, I'm sorry. Man. It's like a car parking alarm. He does not like it if you even get close. I wouldn't mind it if she walked a little faster, though. That would be nice. Hey, here we go. You the main cheese in charge? Hi, Mr. Penguin. 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 We are Penguin. You're a big help. Do you know anything about missing toys? Toys. We like toys. Toys fun. Are you missing any feathers? Feathers. Feathers warm. We shed many feathers. Can I go in your big igloo? Big igloo. Only penguin go in big igloo. Need to check out that igloo, but I don't want to... But I don't look like a penguin. <laughs> Can I have your garbage bag? No garbage. No need bag. Uh... Okay. Am I supposed to wear... These items to look like a penguin? Alright. See you later, Tuxedo Man. Alright. Oh no, do I really have to go back through that maze? Oh, can I not fast travel? Can I just... Oh good, they... Okay, that's a nice quality of life change. They they changed the maze so that it's just a straight run after you solve it once. I like that. See, just simple touches like that show that the developer actually cared about you enjoying yourself playing it rather than just having to solve it, right? Alright, we can turn the audio back up now that we're done with those penguins. Uh, it looks like we might be able to go down there, but let's check out this little workshop first. South Pole, population one. All right. I wonder what this can of aerosol is for. Mm, looks like it might be a can of nitrous oxide or something. Please, you should probably be careful with that. All right. Uh, well, what is in my inventory? I don't know what I could do with it, so let's just go this way for now. Whoa. 
Holy Hannah. Let me steal a fish first. Who are you? Oh, ho, ho, I'm Santa, South Pole Santa. I've never heard of South Pole Santa. And I've never heard of you, little dwarf. My name is Debbie, and I'm a North Pole Elf. Ah, yes, the North Pole, I hear, is a nice place. But a little too cold for my taste. <laughs> right? So you've never met the real Santa? The real Santa lives on top of the world. I get there one day. I'll get there one day, okay. Do you know anything about the missing toys? Missing toys, of course. We have toys. Our aerosol inflated no toy, no zone toys. Okay. But none of them are missing. <laughs> Creepy looking dude. It's good with him. I'm talking about stolen toys stolen from children all over the world. And why would I know anything about that? Because there are penguin feathers left behind every time a toy is stolen. Hey, that's profiling, Debbie. Not okay. Penguin feathers? Why don't you ask the penguins? But I've got to tell you, penguins are suspicious of strangers. Especially short strangers. <laughs> okay. Can I have that pebble on your desk? <laughs> Please take it. Those penguins are always leaving them here. They do like shiny pebbles, that's true. Thanks, South Pole Santa. What's that button on the wall do? Every secret fortress needs a self-destruct button. In the villain's handbook, you can look it up. <laughs> Did you know your map is upside down? Whoever said north has to be up. I mean, that's true. It's a good point. See you later, South Pole dude. Much later. There is a little bit of a... Uh, North Pole, not North Pole, North Hemisphere bigotry. Like, we don't realize that we t assume that we assume that, you know, everything's the same for us. We're like, oh, it's wintertime, it's summertime when it's the opposite in the South Pole. I lived in um, South America for a while, and it was just interesting to see how much we do kind of take for granted what's, what's going on around the world based on what's happening in the North Pole. All right, night, I get the, I mean, aerosol. Can I, oh, can I inflate... Uh, this? Nope. Come on. Inflate this guy. No. Nope. Alright. Well, there was still one place I haven't been. Well, I assume I can't... Can I click in here? I wasn't expecting palm trees at the South Pole. Yeah, nor was I. Okay, how about if we come down here? Ice Sculpture Garden. Sweet. All right, we got some discus going on. I mean, shouldn't it be curling? We've got a gargoyle dude. Oh wait, can I click on it? I had a pet gargoyle once, but Santa made me return it to Hades. <laughs> can we click on this one? Reminds me of our pizza delivery guy. Nice. Again, charming. They're, the developer did a good job just making this fun. It's not, you know, the most technologically complex one, but it's just fun. <laughs> I'm gonna steal this from the thinker. What does he need it for? Come on, take his plunger. You can take it. There we go. Toilet plunger. All right. Uh, can I combine some of these items? Like, no, it doesn't look like it. Not going to talk about the thinker, huh? Seems like a missed opportunity. Is that by Rodan? I can't remember. Spitting fish. All right. It's not a big fan of seafood. It's up here. Ooh, I've had those kind of days. <laughs> okay, I've got flippers. I can wear the flippers now. <laughs> All right. Come back down this way. I've got another place to be. I kind of wish I could use the arrow keys to walk around and then just click on things when I had to. Yeah, and this guy went on a blind date with her once. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Her arms must be around here someplace. Come on. Come take her tuxedo. Alright, I've got a penguin suit. <laughs> Whoa, and I stripped off my L suit. Okay. Uh, I was assuming I'd wear it, you know, over top, but hey, that's a choice. Makes me feel right at home. Okay. Alright, so it's just a big loop. And now, the penguins will treat me as one of their own. I, like the mighty Jane Goodall, have been accepted by the local natives and will now walk seamlessly in their midst. <laughs> I'm curious, I want to bump into one of them, see if they still honk or if they're... Okay, they still honk, even if I look like a penguin, more or less. 
All right, all right, let's get out of here and go into the big igloo. Can I talk to him again? Igloo, <laughs> igloo, igloo. Hey, good looking. Have I seen you around before? <laughs> uh, um, I'm an exchange penguin from the Outer Glacier. Say, you speak very well. Thank you. These non penguins really fall for my dumb penguin act. <laughs> well, it certainly fooled. I mean, you're not bad looking yourself for a penguin. I'll take that as a compliment. Can I go in the igloo? It'll cost you one pebble, Puckerbeak. <laughs> All right, so we got a sexist penguin. <laughs> Thanks, Featherface. Back at you, Tuna Breath. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Here are all the stolen toys. I need to ask the penguin why they're here. Or you could just steal them back. There's Susie's doll. Wow. Only one doll in this whole pile, huh? Must be Susie's. Okay. Let's talk to the penguin. Hey, Seth will send a promise to sex for fish for every Christmas present we steal. But that's awful. No scales off my salmon, you know what I mean. Say, how about we share a mackerel? <laughs> in your dreams, blubber butt. Okay, that's all there is. All right. So now we can confront South Pole Santa about it, or do we need to go back to Mr. Hook and Mr. Spike? Probably confront South Pole Santa. Do we confront her as a penguin? That's the question. Well, let's give it a try as a penguin first, and then if we have to, we can always switch it up. Yeah, I wish the walking was a bit faster. That's the my one major complaint about this. But I guess I... I mean, I am a penguin now, so I've got stubby little legs. It makes sense I would walk slow. Uh, I still can't use the aerosol for anything, huh? Can I inflate my suit? Oh, no. Okay. Let's go back in here as a penguin. I can't go in there looking like a penguin. It's fine. Push the button. South Pole Santa, why are you stealing toys from children? Children play with their toys for five minutes and never touch them again. Throw them in a corner. Put them in the closet for good. Children love their gifts from Santa. The North Pole Santa, that is. The North Pole Santa is a fat fool. <laughs> a red-suited idiot. A bearded bumbler. A pompous present pusher. Are you repeating... Why are you repeating yourself like that? You remind me of a couple elves from the North Pole. That's... Simply ridiculous. Utterly impossible. Oh, are they Hook and Crook in disguise? Uh-oh. Hook and Spike. You guys at the South Pole Santa. That's right, you meddling dwarf. We are Santa. The real Santa. The South Pole Santa. The Santa on top of the world. But the South Pole is the bottom of the world. Oh, ho, ho. Not for long, you pointy-eared pest. Once Project Ozone Hole is complete... And our no zone toys have replaced all the old toys, and the aerosol escapes from them and destroys the ozone layer. <laughs> and the Antarctic glaciers melt, and the oceans rise, and the water flows to the North Pole. Oh, is that how that works? Okay. And the weight of the water makes the Earth spin around. <laughs> then we will be on top. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, we'll see about that. Get that pine-sized pygmy. Uh, yeah. All right. Can I take this suit? I knew that was a costume the whole time. Move your body. I can't. My foot's asleep. That big button might help. I know. Get over there. I can't throw a fish at them. You should smack one with a herring, I'm telling you. Get back or I'll push this button. No, that will blow up all the toys. The entire storeroom. I told you a self-destruct button was a bad idea. No, I said it was a bad idea. Crook top. Pinhead. Hey boys, forget about me? She's bluffing. I'm not bluffing. Your South Pole Santa days are over. No, 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 no. Alright, kaboom. <laughs> An astronaut's... <laughs> An astronaut sees the blow-up toy. Okay. Whoa, where'd I get a hot air balloon? Did I visit the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> the penguins returned all the toys for an extra ration of fish. Spike and Hook are mo mopping up the floors. Doll Dimples, I got a promotion. Oh, Doll Dimples, I got a promotion to Naughty Nice List Manager. And it looks like Santa's staying at the North Pole after all. 
Happy Holidays from Rooney Design. Play again. That's it. So it's a short little adventure game, but if you would like to play this yourself, you can get it for free on Flashpoint 11 where I got it. If this isn't your jam, come on back because I'm playing different holiday games practically every hour in December. So come back in an hour and I got something new for you. All right. Cheers. 